In this episode, we're talking about imposter syndrome, what it is and how you can avoid it. And we're starting right now. Hey, 1% Nation, I'm Jake Voorhees, and you are watching The 1% Engineer Show, where we empower young engineers to rise to the top 1% of their career. If this is your first time here, and you wanna be a successful engineer, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. First of all, thank you guys so much. We hit 5,000 subscribers yesterday. Bada ba boom, pow. Oh! It's a huge milestone. Four months ago, the 1,000 subscriber milestone happened. And four months before that, we weren't even to 100 subscribers, 1% Nation. So we have come so far. Thank you so much. I'm going live tomorrow on Saturday. I'm gonna be doing an Ask Me Anything. It'll be 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so make sure to check that out. I've received a bunch of questions about this topic, most notably from Chelsea. Thank you for your questions, guys. Again, if you have a question about anything, make sure you leave it in the comments because maybe you will get a video just for you. Imposter syndrome is the feeling that we are not good enough for whatever we're doing right now. It's the internal fear generally when we're facing a new challenge, a new obstacle, when we're growing and leveling up our lives. And it is often something that will prevent you and hold you back from tackling a new opportunity, for going for that new project. It may hold you back from approaching your professor or applying to that dream job or inquiring to some other engineering students that you wanna study with them, that you wanna work on a project with them. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give you five tips for overcoming these feelings of inadequacy so that you can crush it in your career. So this is really bad. It can hold you back in your life and we all have this feeling all of us even the most successful people which is why this term has become ubiquitous like somehow despite whatever we've accomplished in our lives so far many of us feel like we snuck in the back door and therefore don't deserve whatever is presenting itself to us right now ceo lou solomon did a tedx talk about this and she recognized that about 70 percent of successful people in this world face this feeling of imposter syndrome at some point in their life. Very common guys, you're not the only one who feels this way. Celebrities, famous athletes, CEOs, you name it. I love this quote by Natalie Portman during her 2015 Harvard graduation commencement address. And even though she's a Harvard alum, she says, well, I, have I have to, to admit, admit that, that today, today even 12, 12 years, years after graduation, after graduation I'm, still I'm still insecure about my own worthiness. I have to remind myself today, you are here for a reason. Today, I feel much like I did when I came to Harvard Yard as a freshman in 1999, when you guys were, to my continued shock and horror, still in kindergarten. <laughs> I felt like there had been some mistake, that I wasn't smart enough to be in this company, and that every time I opened my mouth, I would have to prove I wasn't just a dumb actress. I love that. And that's pretty much what imposter syndrome is all about. We concern ourselves too much with what other people think about us, what may happen if we fail again. It all comes down to our concern of the exterior world. So you have to keep this in mind when we talk about these five tips. A lot of these tips revolve around the fact that you're going to ignore all that stuff and just keep doing your thing, which is exactly what you need to do to be successful in life. Whether that's in your student career, your engineering career, your personal life, your hobbies, whatever, you need to do your best to forget about exterior factors and just do the best that you can do. And this is why I'm making this video to give you some tips to do that. When you're young, when you've started your career, when you're a student, university, whatever, we're often growing and learning so much so fast that it's easy to forget what we're actually learning along the way, that you don't give yourself credit, that you actually know something, that you actually can have an opinion on something, that there are people now that are before you. And then even if you're one day ahead of that person in their teachings, their learnings, whatever, then you are considered an expert to that person. So you do have value to add to this world you do have an opinion, you are credible. So you have to remember that. To further reinforce this, you will not believe the replies that I get from the people that I reach out to about being on the 1% Engineer Show. We're talking about PhD people at Ivy Leagues. We're talking about scientific researchers. We're talking about engineers who've accomplished a whole lot for their young career. And I wanna put young people on the show to inspire the students of the world. But so often these young engineers say, oh no, I can't talk about that on the show because I haven't done this yet. And it's like, listen, you have accomplished so much already. This is what engineers wanna see. They can't relate to somebody who's 20 years into their career. They wanna to talk to somebody who's just ahead of them, one year, two years ahead. So this literally plagues everyone. It, it's a big problem in the engineering community because yes, of course, as you continue on your engineering road and the more you learn, the more you realize that there's so much more to learn, but that's okay. 
So that's enough backstory. Let's get into the five tips that you can deploy so that you can overcome imposter syndrome and be more confident and feel good about speaking up, about having a voice and feeling satisfied with what you know and be capable of communicating that with the world. And number one, Lou Solomon talked about this in her TEDx talk, is to create a radical hero persona. Very commonly, we've seen that angel on one shoulder, devil on the other shoulder type of interpersonal communication, that inner dialogue, that conflict, that one side is saying this and the other side is saying that. And that's exactly what the radical hero is for. It is to kill that voice of imposter syndrome to shut it down and to say, no, I do have something good to say. I actually have accomplished some good things in my career so far, in my student journey so far. And what you wanna do is almost create this inner superhero that is gonna to come to your aid and give it a name, give it a role. This character is going to smash that negative voice. You have to accept that you deserve to be where you are. You've accomplished a lot. You've worked really hard to get to the position that you are in today. Whenever you hear these scary thoughts of imposter syndrome, that radical hero, that character is gonna to come to your aid and just be that extra confidence booster to help you out. Tip number two is do not compare yourself to others. Yes, of course, there's always gonna be somebody who's a little smarter or who's ahead of you or has accomplished a little bit more. And this is for all things in life, not just in your student journey or your young career journey, there is always gonna be somebody who has a bigger house a fancier car, a whatever material good or some sort of extra degree on their desk. But if you compare yourself to others, it's gonna be this downward negative spiral that you're never gonna get out of. And you're going to further reinforce these negative feelings that you're some sort of imposter in this world. If you're comparing yourself to others, so just don't do that, it's a trap. Do not even try. Be grateful for what you've achieved. Be proud of what you've accomplished in your career so far. And don't even worry about what other people are up to. Just concern yourself with yourself and accomplishing the most you can each and every day, working towards your future goals so you can become the best engineer that you can be. Tip number three is to realize that it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to ask for help. I severely changed my view on this when I started studying Gary Vaynerchuk, who is a social media marketing expert of the world. And he talks a lot about self-awareness and how you need Need to connect with the fact that there's a few things in this world that you're going to be very very good at you're going to go deep you're going to go a mile deep in but for most things in life we're actually crap at those i can think of a whole bunch of stuff that i'm really bad at i can't spell can't draw the best i'm okay at that historically i haven't been the best listener big time talker following rules is hard for me <laughs> and your stereotypical studying was really hard for me like passing engineering classes was really hard for me but there's certain things that most engineers are really good at i'm sure there's certain things that you are super good at and it's sure there are certain things that you're super bad at. So you have to stop pretending that you're gonna be awesome at everything and stop trying to cover up and shield yourself from the vulnerabilities. If you ask for help, if you just admit that, oh yeah, I'm weak in this area, it's gonna be freeing. Then you're gonna be able to create a team for a project or go to someone for advice that is better than you at something or really go out on that limb and say, hey, professor, you know, I've been really struggling with this one topic all semester and I need your help. You're gonna feel like this weight is off your shoulders and that imposter syndrome feeling is just going to disappear entirely when you stop worrying about what other people think about you and just become self-aware that you have some strength points and most of this other stuff, you don't even need to worry about it if it's not your highlight attribute in your life. And tip number four, and this kind of goes with being vulnerable, but you need to learn to fail. Once you embrace the fact that you're gonna fail along the way if you're trying to accomplish great things and you're going for opportunities and you're pushing yourself in your student journey and your professional career, then you're not gonna be afraid of what other people think. You're not gonna be afraid of maybe having to fail and retry and retry because that means that you're actually pushing yourself. You're setting the bar high. You're trying to accomplish the most that you possibly can in your career. And even if it takes you five, 10 times to accomplish a goal of yours, it's fine. So learn to fail. Don't worry about what everyone is gonna think. The fear of failure is literally connected to what the outside world thinks and how they perceive us. So don't worry about that. You're gonna be able to accomplish anything you set your mind to as long as you believe that eventually you're gonna be able to do it. So don't even worry about it. Learn to love to fail. And tip number five is to add value to this world. World. And if you are afraid to be vulnerable, if you're afraid to admit that, hey, I've messed up and I learned a lot and made some mistakes along the way, you're never going to be able to add value to this world. You're never going to be able to mentor. You're never going to be able to empower others around you so that they don't make all the same mistakes that you did. Because feeling like a fraud, feeling like an imposter means that you are too worried about how you feel. Because if you hold all this stuff in, you're not going to be able to help others. You're not going to be a good leader, a good mentor. So you have to speak up about the things that you learned. You actually do have an opinion now. You have accomplished a bunch of stuff. You've been through a lot. You've learned. You've failed 
world, you've come a long way and you have to give that value, that knowledge, that insight back out into the world and help other people. It's about how you can have a good impact now, not just about what other people think about you because trust me, most people out there are too worried with how people think about themselves. They're really not even looking at you. Most people are feeling insecure about being that imposter. Oh, what are people gonna think? When all the other people in the world are too busy thinking all the same things about themselves. Oh, I'm an imposter, I'm an imposter. So don't worry about that. Give your value to the world, help out, be vulnerable. Admit that you had to ask for help, admit that you failed, admit that you made mistakes, and now you can be a great leader once you wipe away these feelings of imposter syndrome. Comment below if you've had these feelings of imposter syndrome. We want to hear from you. And if you want to be a successful engineer, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I hope this video helped you guys. Thanks again so much for being along this journey and reaching the 5,000 subscriber milestone. If you want the 1% engineer kit and access to the Facebook groups, you can find those links in the description below. Thanks for watching the 1% engineer show guys and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.